Hi, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender, and today I'm going to show you Shooters Volume 2. I was hesitant about doing this video, but the person behind the camera, they wanted to punish me for some reason because we're doing a Volume 2 and I didn't get to pick the Shooters. Uh, most of them are relatively easy, citrusy shots as opposed to last time. If you missed the last video, check it out here. Uh, they were more creamy shots with a lot of Baileys in it. Uh, finished with a pint of Guinness, which curdled my stomach. But um, hopefully these should be relatively easy. So some of these are shaken shots. So therefore you can mix a whole bunch in one shaker and pour them all out. You can get up to 10 shots out of a shaker quite easily. So they're perfect for parties. So first up, I'm gonna show you how to make a kamikaze. Apparently this one originated from World War II in Japan, created by American soldiers. Maybe, if I'm wrong, let me know. So this one is two ounces of your preferred vodka. And I don't know why I'm making multiple shots in the one because it means that I have to drink more. But today I'm gonna to use the Vodka O, which is Australian, well, it's an Australian owned vodka, but I believe it's made in New Zealand. Uh, and then follow that up with triple sec or Cointreau. So three quarters of an ounce. 22.5 mil. This is probably going to extend out to at least three shots. And three quarters of an ounce, 22.5 mil of fresh lime juice. Add a little bit of ice, give it a shake and strain it into your shot glass. So obviously with these measurements, it's going to make three or four shots. So it's designed for you and some friends. You don't have to do all these shots by yourself. So strain it into your glass. And there you have the kamikaze. If you prefer as well with these chilled shots, you can chill the vodka, you can chill your shot glasses and it will stay cold longer, obviously. So next up, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, fresh, what's he, uh, wet, what's he? or a, I'm, I'm not sure what people call it. They call it wet, fresh, and French pussy. So I just gotta stop saying that word. <laughs> I gotta stop saying that word. Um, but this one's shaken as well. So it's served cold and it's just equal parts of vodka, peach liqueur, and cranberry juice with a squeeze of fresh lime. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a smaller one by going 15 mil, half an ounce of each ingredient. Vodka, first up. Second of all, your peach liqueur. Followed by cranberry juice. So with the shooters, you don't really need to give it a long shake just to chill it down. Don't really need to add too much dilution. Straighten into your shot glass and squeeze some lime into it. So there you have the wet, fresh, or French pussy. What's that? <laughs> so next shooter is the lemon drop. So this one you can either serve with a plain vodka or a citron, citron vodka, citron absolute, whatever you prefer. Um, today, I'm gonna to just do it with a straight vodka. Preferably, you can keep it in the fridge as well, but if you don't have the cold vodka sitting in your fridge at home, then you can just do a simple workaround, shake it over ice, stir it over ice, and strain it into your shot glass. So shaking is gonna cool it a lot quicker but it's gonna add more dilution at the same time. So I just wanna chill it a little bit, give it a really quick stir. So if you're not using a citrus vodka, if you want to, you can do a little squeeze of lemon juice inside the vodka, if that's your preference. I'm just gonna chill my vodka and strain it straight into a shot glass. And then serve that with a lemon wedge covered in sugar. So if you haven't had one of these before, the, the balance of the, the sourness and the sugar, the sourness and the sweet, I should say, really disguises the vodka and especially if you've got cold vodka it's probably the most awkward way i could do it dip 
pour the sugar onto a plate and do it that way is going to be much easier. And there you have the lemon drop. Next shot is the Apocalypse Now. Actually, I'm going to read you the description of this one because someone's definitely out to get me. Admittedly, it's not one of the best tasting shots you can mix up, but it is an experience to say the least. As seen in recipes like the cement mixer, which you can see in my past video, taste was not always the first consideration. If you are looking for a quick, potent novelty shooter, it would be one to try. There's just no promise that you'll like it. Thank you. Equal measures of tequila and vermouth. That sounds horrible. So I'm gonna measure out. <laughs> and now it begins. I'm gonna measure out. Fifteen mil of reposado tequila. Fifteen mil of uh, dry vermouth. So half an ounce. Give it a brief shake before layering Bailey's on top. Real quick shake. Just chilling it down slightly. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, fucking hell, that's disgusting. <laughs> that's so gross. Now, to finish the apocalypse now, layer on the Irish cream onto your tequila shots. And you can use a pourer on top of the bottle to make it easier if you like. Dun, dun, dun. The bailey is too heavy and it sinks straight to the bottom. Or it could just be me, I don't know. Either way, it's going to taste terrible. And last shot that everyone's familiar with is a Jager bomb. Pour out a chilled shot of Jager into your, into your glass. And pour out half a Red Bull into your highball glass. So there you have five shooter recipes. You've got the Kamikaze, the Fresh Pussy, Lemon Drop, the Apocalypse Now, and a Jager bomb. So, shoot number one, the Kamikaze. Cheers. Pretty easy to drink. Not too bad. Probably a little bit too limey for my liking. And I love citrus drinks, so probably drop the, the citrus just a little bit. Then the fresh. Cheers. Really light, sweet, a tiny bit of tartness from the cranberry juice, but I'd probably say more on the sweeter side. I much prefer these shooters rather than doing creamy Bailey's shots. This uh, sits a lot easier. Next up, the lemon drop shooter. Chilled vodka served with lemon and sugar. The vodka had a chance to warm up a little bit, so warm vodka is not the greatest. But finishing off with that that sweet, sour piece of lemon, it just hides the vodka completely, so you want to taste that as quick as you can. Next up, the Apocalypse Now. This one I'm really dreading because I accidentally poured too much in it. I may have kept it in the footage, depending on the edit, but... I did end up drinking a little bit out of it because I had too much in the shot glass so I could actually fit the Baileys in. Um, and the tequila vermouth combination is not pleasant whatsoever. 
Cheers. Actually, once you put the Baileys in it, it kind of sweetens it up. It's it's not as bad as I was anticipating. Um, definitely not pleasant, but not horrible. Still the worst out of all four so far. Next up, Jagerbomb. Drop the Jagerbomb. Drop the Jagerbomb. Make sure you like and subscribe and continue to watch my next couple of videos because I'm still gonna film after this, so it's gonna be quite entertaining. Drop your Jagermeister into your Red Bull. Cheers. And there you have five shooters, perfect for parties. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that, don't forget to hit that bell button and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers. You didn't describe the egg box. No. I should probably do it again. No. <laughs>